Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share my best purchases of 2023 and why I felt that they were my best purchases. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So I was very fortunate to have been able to add some pretty cool pieces to my collection this year, be it handbags, SLGs, or perfumes. But the following 10 items that I wanted to talk about, in my opinion, definitely take the cake, especially because I can't seem to stop using them. Them, and I can't seem to stop talking about them either. You guys know how I am. I'm constantly sitting there going, bah, 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 bah. oh my God, I love this. Oh my God, you know? So I don't think that these are going to surprise anybody. So I'm going to start off with handbags first, and these items are in no particular order. All right, first up is the Louis Vuitton side trunk. Oh yeah, baby. The reason why I consider this to be one of my best purchases this year, not only is it because it's been one of my most used bags, but this handbag also made me fall back in love with Louis Vuitton. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, when I first started my channel, I started off with Louis Vuitton, and over the years, I'd kind of go back and forth. I'd fall out of love with them, I'd go for other fashion houses, and then I'd go back to Louis Vuitton, so it was kind of like a yo-yo effect that I had with the brand, uh, but with this one, I felt like this bag really just kind of wrote me back in and it made me fall back in love with the with a fashion house because I love everything that they did for this bag. It's very unique in a sense. Yes, it's a trunk. It's kind of like a trunk. Obviously, the name states it's side trunk, right? Uh, but the attention to detail, the this gives me the old school Louis Vuitton vibes that I absolutely love. So that's one of the major reasons why I use it so often. Uh, but I think it's a cool looking bag. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Plus, it's insanely functional because it does come with a, it comes with an extra strap for crossbody. I don't really like a crossbody, but I like that you can take both straps off and you can add a different strap if you want to just to give it a different look but it has so much hardware going on. I love the bells and whistles. It's just very Louis Vuitton, you know what I mean? And I just can't seem to put this bag down at all. So this is definitely, in my opinion, one of my best purchases for sure. All right, next is Madame Morticia, also known as the Lueve Small Puzzle Bag in the black on black on black with a little bit of gold. So I got this bag at the beginning of this year and the reason why I consider it to be one of my best purchases, kind of like the side trunk, it has been in constant rotation, but I love the way that this bag makes me feel. It makes me feel like Billy Badass. And I've said this before, probably sounds so insanely stupid, but it makes me feel kind of like edgy, like, oh, I'm so mysterious. I don't know. I don't even know if that makes sense or not, but that's exactly how this bag makes me feel. Uh, now, I did add a strap to this. This is the donut chain. This was an added purchase. So technically it's two purchases in one, right? Uh, but uh, this strap I think is, is amazing. I love the different look that it gives it because it does come with another strap, like a thicker leather strap. It's to be completely honest with you, it's kind of hideous. Uh, and I don't find it to be very comfortable. I like the way that this looks and this is purely decorative. All right. I don't use it as a shoulder bag like at all. I use it as a hand carry bag or on the crook of my arm, but uh, these puzzle bags are going to be like the death of me as well because I, I love them in all sizes, whether it's the mini, whether it's the small, I would love a medium. I don't know, but I just, I am a sucker for this brand and this, this silhouette in specific, uh, I am crazy about. Plus it's very easy to use for extended periods of time and it fits everything that I need. It fits all my junk without any questions. So the Billy Badass bag goes to the Lueve Small Puzzle Bag or Madame Morticia. The Fendigraphy in the small size and the black leather. So this bag also has been in constant rotation ever since I added it to my collection. Uh, this strap that you guys are seeing here, uh, I also purchased it separately. Unfortunately, it does not come with this bag. How cool would it be if it did? Uh, so this is also kind of like a two-in-one, I guess. It's one of the best purchases I could have ever made. I love this bag. 
everything doesn't gravitate towards the middle. It stays in place. Uh, you can carry everything that you need in here and then some, so it's very spacious, even though it is the smaller size. And it is crazy comfortable as well. I don't know, but I think it looks cool. Uh, and best of all, best of all, are these giant letters on the bottom that say Fendi. It's kind of like, what kind of bag is that? Oh, it's a Fendi bag because this is so in your face. And you guys know me, like I'm not, like the, the louder it is, the gaudier it is, the more obnoxious it is, the more I absolutely love it. And this is perfection in my eyes. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think that this bag is incredible. Next is another Fendi bag, and that is the Baguette in the light pink leather with the gold hardware. I'm actually gonna hold it over here because as you can see, uh, it's getting a little bit darker. But um, I love this bag. I think it is amazing. What I love the most about it is this squishy, delicious, insanely buttery soft leather. My goodness. Uh, I love it so much that if I had the economic possibility to add every single leather baguette to my collection, I absolutely would. That is why I consider this to be one of the best purchases this year. Uh, plus, the color, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's kind of like a nudie pink. It's not too pink and it's not too... Um, it's not too beige either. Uh, it's like the perfect mix. And I think that the gold hardware, I mean, just complements it very, very nicely. I've had zero issues with color transfer. I haven't babied it. Uh, I do have it currently stuffed a little bit. Let me take it out so you guys can see it a little bit better. But um, I love the slouch that it has when all my stuff is in here and you get this little crease. I don't know, but I, I think it's such a great little bag. And I know that some people aren't fond of it because of the embossing. You can see the, the Fs on here, but I really like it. I really like it. And again, this leather, look at, look at it. I wish you guys can reach through the camera and just touch this leather because it's insane. Plus, it smells fantastic. Yes, I am a handbag sniffer. I've said this before, a proud handbag sniffer. How can you not sniff your bags? That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't sound very good, but the leather, the leather smells amazing. So yeah, I, I love this bag. And again, if I could have it in every single color that it's been available in, I totally would. Let's move on to this red beauty, which is the Celine Small Trapeze in the Coquelicot color with the beautiful gold hardware. So this bag, this bag has been absolutely amazing. I know, I know I say that about all my bags, right? Uh, but the reason why I consider this to be one of the best purchases is because two reasons. One, this was a bag that I always, always wanted. And even when it was available in the boutiques, I always drooled about it. I thought it was fantastic. I never went for it. So I went on the pre-love market in order to add it to my collection. But because I went on the pre-love market, reason number two, I was able to add it for under 400 bucks. 400 bucks for a Celine trapeze. That is insane, especially because of this leather. Celine has such fantastic leather. I've said this before, uh, and this bag is just, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I love the color. I mean, hello, it's red. It has gold hardware. This has my name written all over it. When I was doing research, a lot of people said that they love this bag, but it's very heavy, and I concur because on its own, it's heavy, and when I put all my junk in here, Dude, just like other bags that I've talked about in the past, it's like a little mini workout. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this this had to this had to be on this list, right? Absolutely. Now the next bag, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because kind of like some of the others that I mentioned in this video, it is also gonna be in another video, but this silhouette, I have also talked about it over and over and over again over the last few years. So I don't wanna give you an earful. You guys have heard me talk about it a million times. So I get it, I'm gonna keep it to a minimum. But I, of course, am talking about the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. I mean, hello, you guys know how I am. When I really like something, I like to shout it from the rooftops over and over and over again. But 
This is the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag in the mini size. This used to be called the micro size. I don't know. They've changed the name a hundred times and probably by the time of this recording, they probably changed it again. But as of right now, I know it as the mini size. This is in the cotton leather or the white leather with the silver hardware. This is the white bag that I never knew that I needed. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel over the years, many of you know that for the longest time, I only stuck to like black bags or canvas bags. I, ne I never really ventured into lighter colored bags or even white bags, even though white bags have always been like my kryptonite. I've always absolutely loved them, but I've stayed away from them. Uh, so over the years, um, you know, I started to incorporate a little bit more color. I started to incorporate lighter bags into my collection. Uh, and I'm not afraid of them anymore. I'm not afraid of getting color transfer or anything like that. But with this one, for some reason, I just end up gravitating towards it the most out of all of my white bags. And it just makes me feel insanely happy. It's small, but it packs a punch. I mean, it does uh, It does come with a removable, adjustable strap that you can use crossbody. I don't really use that. I mostly end up using it with a chain uh, just because I like the way that it looks. But it's small, but it packs a punch. If it's everything that I need, uh, I'd say a little bit more than the bare essentials. You don't have to go like uber, uber small in this either. Uh, but yeah, it just, it, it's so comfortable. It's so easy to use. It's grab and go. Don't think about it. I don't know, but this this little bag has been absolutely amazing. Um, I think I think that they're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Next up is technically a handbag, even though I don't use it as a handbag uh, because I don't think it's functional as a handbag for myself. Uh, I mostly use it as a small leather good, and that is the Louis Vuitton Micro Matisse. Now, this is an item that I have said over the over the last few months. It's I mean, some people might say that this was one of the stupidest purchases I could have done because of the ridiculous, the absolutely obnoxious price point that it has, considering the size that this item is, right? I, I mean, I completely see that. I completely see that. Uh, but I have incorporated it so much into my lifestyle. I love using this as a little wallet. I love using it as a little catch-all inside of my other bags. Uh, that way, as a small leather good for me, it is insanely functional. Uh, now it does come with a little chain. Sometimes if I'm doing like a really quick errand, like if I if I ran out of, um, I don't know, if I'm doing like a big old thing for Theo for his food, if I ran out of zucchini, I go to the store, I'll just grab this. My keys fit in here, a lipstick, and then I just have my phone either in my back pocket or in my hand. I know that some people that have like a flip phone are able to fit this in here and then you're able to use it as a handbag. How cool is that? Unfortunately, my phone, even though it's ancient, uh, it is a little bit too uh, too big for this. But yeah, I, I love this. I love this little guy. And and I also like the fact that I still have some of the, 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 the love, not the love, but I've always been a big fan of the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I had two of them. The third time was not a charm for me. And I closed that chapter of my handbag journey. Uh, it's a bag that I will always sing its praises. Uh, but because this is a micro version of it, it kind of allows me to still have the kind of like the, the vibe of the Pochette Matisse in my collection. I don't even know if that makes sense or not, but uh, that's another reason why I absolutely love it. I use it everywhere, and every time I bust it out, people are like, oh my god, that's such a cute little bag, that's such a cute little wallet. Uh, I get tons of compliments on it, but stupid price point, 100%. 100%. Next is this beauty. I don't believe I did an unboxing on here. I think I did it on Instagram if I'm not mistaken. But this is the Chanel Zip Around card holder pouch in the black caviar leather with the champagne gold hardware. So you guys know how I feel about small leather goods. Uh, I am like a moth to a flame when it comes to SLGs, especially card holders and pouches. And the fact that this is both, this is like the perfect marriage of both, makes me insanely happy. So I did add it a little bit later on in the year, but I've been using it nonstop. I think it is fabulous, uh, especially because you have the card slots on the back side. You also have a little slip pocket or card, uh, card slot in the front, and then you have a little zip around pouch that you can use for other stuff. I mean, I've used it as like for my key fob, I've used it for house keys, I've used it for uh, like those really small mini lipsticks, for cash, um, I don't know, but it's, it's a little bit of both. It's the best of both worlds in my opinion. 
So yeah, I have my wallet, uh, my wallet essentials here, and then I have the other caca that I want to carry with me in here, you know, and that way I can have a little bit more space in my handbags and I don't have to carry two SLGs. I just have the one. So I, I think that these are pretty cool. You can either go for them in the classic. They also have this with a CC uh, that that's very similar to the Chanel 19. Uh, and they're also available in a variety of different colors. Now, I will admit that they do have a pretty ludicrous price point as well, even though they are pretty versatile and they are pretty functional, especially with the way that I use them into, or the way that I use them in my lifestyle. Uh, I believe I paid either, I want to say it was either 800 or 825, somewhere along those lines. Uh, so I just want to share that just in case, because I know that on the second hand market, they're selling them for a lot more. Uh, but um, I, I really, I really love these little guys. Next is this beauty. This is the Louis Vuitton Agenda MM in the monogram canvas. Now this bad boy has been one of my best purchases this year because not only did I snag it at a fantastic price point because I did pick it up at an antique shop, but I have been using it every single day since I bought it. I think it is fabulous. Now I do have two Louis Vuitton GM agendas and those I solely use for work. This one is for or personal and I love that this size fits in the majority of my bags of course it depends on the bag that I'm using it for the day uh, but still it's not too big and it's not too small it is literally Goldilocks. It is right smack dab in the middle. Uh, I've had the PM agenda and I like it. It's just a little too small because truth be told, I'm the type of person, I do prefer the GM because I'm the type of person that when it comes to sheets of paper, I end up using like four lines for my words, you know, like I'm kind of all over the place and I like the freedom that I have when I write in those GM agendas compared to like a PM. Uh, this one, I don't have as much freedom, but it's still pretty, it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. Now I know that some of you guys have asked me to do an agenda video and how I, you know, how I set up my agenda and what I use and stuff like that. Trust me when I tell you, I am the worst when it comes to agendas. Now agendas are supposed to help you organize your life, right? Organize your events and all that other good stuff. No, I am all over the place. Nothing makes sense. If you were to like look at my agendas, you're like, what is going on? However, there is a method to my madness and it makes sense to me. But if I was to do a video on it, you're, you'd be like, oh my, dude, this girl needs help. She's there, no, this is not good because it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense. But again, it makes sense to me. All right, so I'm gonna close out this video with a fragrance, and that is the Mancera Roses Vanille. So this fragrance, I wasn't looking for it, okay? I just happened to be in the right place at the right time, and it completely knocked my socks off. I am 100% to the full extent of the word obsessed with this perfume. Like I can't get enough of it. I can't, I really can't. So when I first came upon it, uh, I saw roses and I saw vanilla. I was like, dude, two things that I absolutely love. Roses work out really well with my body chemistry. So does vanilla. Upon smelling it, eh, I was completely wrong because to me, in my opinion, it doesn't smell like either. Like you couldn't pay me to find those notes in this fragrance. Uh, and you guys have heard me say this before, but I kind of feel like I'm a drug dog. Like I can smell absolutely everything. And even then I still can't smell roses or vanilla. Now to me, this, oh my God, this fragrance, oh, <laughs> I wish there was like smell a vision or something so you guys can smell how fantastic this is. But to me, this smells very cedary, very leathery, kind of musky, uh, almost to the point of being somewhat masculine, not too much, but yeah, it just, it has those notes and surprisingly they work out with my body chemistry, which is kind of crazy because usually those notes don't do well with me, like at all. They usually smell like, uh, like hot garbage, but no, it smells really, really good. I mean, it has amazing, amazing like staying power. If I spray it on at five o'clock in the morning, I still have it on at 10 o'clock at night. It's not too much, it's not overwhelming, it doesn't give me a headache. One little spray goes a long, long way. And if I could bathe in this fragrance, I absolutely would. Like this to me is the type of fragrance that it kind of reminds me of someone that's in a smoke filled room and they're out in the corner and you're kind of like, oh, what, what? going on over there? Are they, are they cool? Are they, are they nice? Like you don't, you can't read that person, you know, that's what this fragrance is to me. Uh, I don't know, but when I wear it, I feel kind of, I, 
<laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm doing with my shoulders, but I feel kind of like pumped when I wear this fragrance, but it, I don't know, man. It makes me feel incredible and it smells, in my opinion, fantastic with my body chemistry, but um, I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. And this is the type of perfume that I would buy backups for backups for backups, kind of like what I've done with the um, uh, Dolce & Gabbana Lampera Trees, because that one I've had multiple bottles. That's what I want to do with uh, with this Mancera. And it doesn't have a crazy price point either. I think it comes in at either 180 or 185 and it's four uh, four ounces, which isn't too bad uh, considering it is a niche fragrance. So anyways, that does it for this video. My goodness, I know that I got a little bit of a chatty Cathy thing going on there and I went on some tangents, but you guys know, you know how I am, you know how I roll. I can talk until the cows come home, especially when it's about things that I absolutely love. But I would love to know what were some of your best purchases this year. If you want to, let us know in the comment section down below. But I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you a little bit of information on each of these items, especially if you're looking to add them to your collection. But if you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.